Hello, today I will show you how to install Argo CD in K3S using Helm. If you do not have K3S and Helm, follow the tutorial. The link is in the description of this video. So here I'm going to explain everything. I will show you how I created the installation script in Bash. I will do the same in Ansible, but later. So Vim Argo CD dash install dot sh create Argo CD namespace. So without this namespace Argo CD, you will not be able to install it because Helm installer will tell you that uh, the installation failed because there is no Argo CD namespace. Okay, so you create it, then add Argo CD repository, then update repository using Helm, install Argo CD using Helm, create ingress because I don't want to expose the Argo CD service using a forward command, but instead I want to have an ingress. So um, it will tell that my service um, is located in a proper uh, pod. And then uh, you can see create a file cut with cut command and uh, there is the content of this file that is uh, saved to, to this file, then you have something like deploy ingress. So apply dash f uh, and this argo cd ingress dot yml file. And at the end, you have something like a fix the problem with logout to argo cd dot example dot com. I mean, uh, after the installation, when you will log into the web panel of argo cd and then you will click on the button logout, it redirects you to the uh, argocd.example.com website and this is the problem so what i'm going to do here um in the namespace argocd i'm getting the config map argocd-cm i mean config map right in format yaml to a file argocd-cm.yml then i'm replacing the example.com to local and I will explain in a moment why and in this file and then uh, kubectl apply dash frgocd dash cm dot yml. So here I patched the config map for argo cd. So let's uh, save this file and do not forget about hmod plus x2 argo cd install to make it executable and then uh, dot slash and argo cd install and it should create a namespace uh, you can ignore this warning because my k3s.yam uh, file uh, has um, much wider uh, actually permissions than the required one and install argo cd using helm so you can see it uh, went successfully to this step um, now after some time it should install the argo cd and here you see uh, it tells you that you can, for example, use kubectl port forward to forward this service, but I don't want to do this just because I have a uh, ingress. And um, you can see create ingress for Argo CD, deploy ingress, and you can see it's created, fix the problem with logout. Uh, you can ignore this warning, but you can see config map Argo CD CM configure. So everything is actually deployed and it's working correctly and now it is time to go to browser but without uh, one step additionally you need to perform you will not be able to log in so you need to get this uh, initial password and you can put it here and it should display and now you can see there is a password so you need to highlight it shift ctrl c to copy now go back to browser and here I will explain one thing, Argo CD um, icon, and you can see I'm using something like Argo CD local. I will put this password here and username is an admin and sign in and it should log in. And now I will try to log out and it's working without any problem. One more time to perform a check and it's logged in. And uh, here in settings, you have something like appearance. So you have a dark mode. You can enable, disable the dark mode for Argo CD. It depends on your uh, needs. Also, it's good to 
change the password. So update the password, provide the new one and let's generate it and I will use a password from my password manager, save a new password and it sees the password has been uh, successfully updated. So log out now and try to log in back uh, using a new password and should be able to log into the Argo CD and it's logged in uh, to the Argo CD web panel. And now there is a time to explain this uh, domain argocd.local. I have something like own DNS server. I'm using Adgat Home at my home lab uh, to actually add uh, subdomains locally. Uh, for example, uh, this one Argo uh, CD.local. And I'm going to show you. I will try to log in there. Okay, give me seconds. Go to filters, DNS rewrites. And here you can see I have an entry, Argo CD dot local, and it points to 10.10.0.112. So, because of this entry, I can use Argo CD dot local domain, and I can uh, work like a I'm using this instead of the IP address or something like localhost. It's much more convenient. And also, it's a good idea um, to do something else additionally. Um, I have something like Nginx Proxy Manager and I will go here and I will try to log in uh, to this uh, section. Just give me a moment. Okay. And here I have something like list of remote host names and I have something like Argo CD, but I will edit it and show you how it is configured. So it also points to the same IP address, but I'm using a forward port 443 and HTTPS and I'm using WebSocket support because this is a really crucial for uh, Argo CD and that's it and custom locations, SSL, force SSL like this. And uh, you can see I'm using a sysadmin homes, sysadmin homes SSL certificate and advanced. Uh, there's nothing here, I will cancel it. Uh, I'm using SSL certificate from this section, but um, this is something uh, really nice. So you, you can buy a domain and uh, you can then configure, for example, Cloudflare. And you can add a SSL certificate the way that if you click it, uh, you can add something like and let's encrypt uh, certificate and you can then select something like I use DNS challenge and you can then uh, provide a DNS uh, provider so for example you can uh, choose your Cloudflare and uh, you need to generate API token in Cloudflare and provide this token uh, this way so instead of this because this is a random string instead of this you provide your token and so then you copy this and paste it to to the proper field and uh, so instead you know instead of this you get rid of this and you paste the token from cloudflare uh, when you will generate it and propagation second second set i don't know 120 or something like this um, and then I can save. And after that, you will see something like this. I'm using a sysadmin.homes because I just bought this domain and I can uh, work with my own local domain and uh, at my home lab and it's working like a charm. And there's also a proper configuration on a cloud side. So it's accessible only from my ESP at home and no one else can use it. Okay, fine. And now uh, you're curious, okay, uh, is it working at all? Um, if you will go to proxy host and uh, can we check this? Um, yeah, we can click on it and it should log in. Argo CD is having homes and it should work. And we can try to log in here and we can check is it working correctly. So what we need to do, um, uh, we need to log into this um, actually Argo CD and uh, check is it working uh, as expected. I mean, can we log in there? And should it work? And well, it will. But you can see it's um, the light one, mm, probably because uh, I suppose that there is a separate session and separate cookie for this. 
and okay i will go to upgrades and i will enable the dark mode and that's it and this is everything actually log out check ah argo cd logo so uh, you can see it's working the way that uh, now log out ah and this is the, the way so because i configured it the way that uh, I patched it, uh, the config map uh, using the Argo cd.local. So uh, when I click on logout, it uh, redirects me to Argo cd.local instead of uh, Argo cd something homes. But yes, you can change it, of course. And uh, to make it work, um, let's do this um, and just get rid of this, sign out, I'll close this one. And I have something like a domain says admin uh, at home. So I uh, will click this one to edit it for a moment. Uh, I'll go see this is admin home. Okay, so let's uh, go back to the command line. And I will show you this. Um, I will clear the screen, first of all, uh, like that. And let's list it. And here now I have something like Argo CD dash uh, file, the so config map I have here. So Vim this Argo CD CM and instead of this I can use something like Argo CD uh, says admin homes like that save it and then kubectl apply and then dash f and Argo CD CM the config mark should be patched and it should show me the result I hope it will work. Ah, error. Why? Um, well, I will try to explain this. Uh, um, what you need to do, you can cut uh, the command uh, Argo install and instead, so you cannot do something like I did. So one more time, you have to use this command, then Vim this one. And now it's much bigger. Uh, so every time uh, when you apply it and every time something changed, um, the configuration changed. So you need to just pick up a new version of config map, edit it, modify it something in this. Um, I can do this. I'll go cd uh, sysadmin.homes. Now I will save it and I will apply it using this command and now you can see config map is configured and now I will go back to browser and what I'm going to do I will use this one Argo CD admin homes but now what I would like to do I will copy this URL I will go to Heimdall I will try to edit it and Argo CD is here so instead of Argo CD local I will try to use this one homes uh, without this slash at the end We'll try to save a configuration. Now Argo CD should work. Um, excellent, it's working. So I'll close this one. I will log out from here because I don't need it anymore. Uh, let's close it once again and Argo CD. And Argo CD is this admin .homes. And here we go. And now I will try to log in. And I hope it will work. It should. Okay, I'm logged in and it remembers the dark mode. Nice. And okay, uh, what you can do, log out, here we go, it's working. There's no problem at all. You can see um, you defined the logout URL and it works. So there's no problem at all. And all you need to do is um, just to define this, uh, let's call it a base URL. And this is something that is working without any issue. And one more test, close it. Now clear the browser cache so control shift uh, then delete and select from the beginning clean all of this close it now and one more time click on argo cd and what you can see uh, there is no complaining about the certificate um just because it is using wildcard so it's nice um i have an https and you can see the security it's connected uh, securely and certificate is valid this time so um, but this time it's a valid for sysadmin home so I'm using a wildcard from let encrypt and now um, we can try to login back and check if it's working without any problem 
and here we go it's working and but this time it doesn't remember so one thing um in the settings uh, the appearance and the you can just enable the dark mode because i really like the dark mode but yeah and it's working there's no problem at all so then you can enjoy your argo cd and you can uh, use it if you want to find out how to use it and what is argo cd actually i recommend read the documentation and uh, what is interesting is that Argo CD automatically detects my processor so it knows that I'm using ARM and I have a Ktrace installed on ARM cluster because I'm using one CM4 IO with CM4 compute module and two Raspberry Pi 4B. Uh, each machine has 8GB of RAMs and probably in the future I will add a new, I don't know, Raspberry Pi 4B or 5. I suppose I will add a 5 one. Um, okay, so yeah, you can download the uh, installator and uh, so you can click on it, download, upload it to the host where, for example, your master is working and install this package there. And then you will be able to use the command line uh, to communicate with Argo CD. So you really didn't have to uh, do all of this. Uh, yeah, you had to um, because Argo CD had to be installed to use this CLI tool, but after that, um, you have a GUI web panel, right? And you have a CLI tool that you can use so to communicate. So if you need something, uh, you know, quickly, and uh, you can do this in command line uh, without logging to the Argo CD and to make it work. But um, if you would like to configure something, you know, more um, complicated and you are a beginner uh, the web panel is more convenient tool to manage everything here okay and also you have something like uh, if you want to deploy against Ergo CD API you have the API documentation so you can read it and I will try to open this one in new tab and this one in new tab and here is the documentation so what is Ergo CD declarative GitOps continuous delivery tool for Kubernetes and then there's an API documentation for a yes you can read about it uh, consolidate services version not set blah 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 so you can uh, choose the proper version uh, if you want to but um, in most cases uh, you need to just read this documentation so find out uh, delete token create token uh, you can see get account to return some account so everything is actually nice uh, and application service you have the API so it is explained you have nice examples here so you can uh, use it and also the documentation uh, why Argo CD getting started uh, then you can see something like this you can see this one but yeah you can also use this one and uh, how it works then you have everything uh, that is explained, architecture, how it looks like, features, development status, adoption. Also you have something like user guide, uh, for example, for Helm. You can read how to use Helm. Uh, so you can install Helm chart through the UI and you can scroll down to see all those parameters. And here you have hooks and random data built environment. A lot of things are here. I hope that it will help you to maintain Argo CD without any bigger issue. So for now, this is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. So thank you very much. Have a nice day or night. Take care. Bye bye.